Let's take a quick look at a pair of aspirations with tips for completing them and what accomplishing the various goals will do for your sims. Nerd Brain and Computer Whiz are somewhat similar in that they both require mental skills. The two work nicely together and programming can eventually become a solid money maker for you. I figured I could use logic to help with Computer Whiz indirectly. I gave my sim the genius, music lover, and loner traits and he gets fast learner as a bonus for choosing a knowledge aspiration. I started from scratch like I almost always do here, so first I needed to establish an income stream. After buying a decent computer and the bookshelf, chess table, and eventual 6,000 simoleon rocket ship you need, my sim was nearly broke. If you're going to live off programming, you need the most reliable computer possible. Hacking does not have a resume option and sometimes the computer will break down right in the middle of a hack. To afford this, I sacrificed a stove so my sim's living off family sized garden salad leftovers. Yum. He'll be happy anyway. Throughout this, I will use chess games and some friendly interactions to keep my sim's social need topped off. It's an efficient way to gain some skill XP and logic, though he has half the social need because of his loner trait. Programming starts off really slow and if you're doing computer whiz you need to practice for 5 hours which will give you a couple of levels better if you're focused. Reading Sympedia on the computer gives you the focused mood you need which can be stacked with ponder chess moves, decorated, and music bonuses. You can get the very focused fairly early like this. After practicing, you'll be able to hack, but only make about 80 simoleons from a success. It gets better as more hacking targets open up because you can only do them once per day. Money gained from every hacking target also scales with your programming level and effective level at that, so being focused makes you 2-3 to three levels higher than you really are. My daily routine was to generally hack, then make plugins to bring in money to afford some better equipment. Gotta save up for a rocket after all. The first milestone of Computer Wiz is very streamlined because you're practicing a money maker and can resolve fun by playing video games, always advancing towards your goals. Balancing things this way can let you finish more aspirations in a sim's lifetime, less wasted time and more money. These aspirations used the handiness, logic, programming, and video gaming skills and were making usage of all four of them. The goals are varied but generally easy to complete, like reading three books and reaching the third level of logic. Something nice about logic is, if you get focused, you can head to an easel and paint math diagrams, hang them on the wall and enable the emotional auras to make your sim focused. Hang enough of them and you'll get to plus two focused. It takes a crazy amount to get three, but becomes unnecessary when you're getting to plus eight or nine focused with all your other bonuses. With tall wall height, you can fit more in an area, by the way. Now you're able to do all four skills in that one room if you buy a woodworking bench. It's very convenient and all these skills are useful in some way. You need a couple levels in handiness in order to buy parts. If you practice the skill with a woodworking bench, you can use the horse and other small statues to decorate. Hide them out of the way if you find them unattractive. The point here is these give two environment costing 10 simoleons versus my sims 150 simoleon curtains that give the same amount. You'll make them good quality sometimes and double or triple the environment score. When you get to where programming is enough to pay the bills, I'd go ahead and get into the tech guru career track to get the final money you need for a rocket. With established programming skill and a good night and morning routine, you can be focused and work hard to very easily get the first three promotions in three days work. Don't bother hacking job performance until later. That's a lot of bonus and wage money very quickly anyway, and you could very well fail and cause it to take an extra day. Rocket science is a strange skill, but I do recommend you read some of the texts that come up in its rabbit hole adventures. They can be quite entertaining and sometimes funny. It's somewhat of a simplistic choose your own adventure. That said, there's often no wrong answer, but your sim skills sometimes play a role. Like if it's a talking yourself out of trouble mission, it may want you to have at least charisma level 2 to succeed. Other times, the mission options are based on your rocket's existing upgrades or lack thereof, like whether it has upgrades or not. Consider that before you fire blasters. Many missions are like this regarding cargo, shooting a hostile alien, or fuel consumption. 
The rocket upgrades can be really expensive, but come in handy if you want to do space collectibles. I did the five missions rather than the five upgrades for the Nerd Brain milestone. A little tip I'd share for your skill gain and adventure success rates is that you can put aura items outside the launch pad as well as decorations. Your sim counts as if they're in the backyard so you can make them focused and happy from decorated bonuses just as you can inside. I moved my horses, dragons, and math diagrams out here. I know it looks awful, but I'm fairly poor, and these are great values. Hide them behind a bush if you want. I want to remind people it's not an awful idea to have a cheap bathtub near your rocket in case you're alone and catch fire. It can save your sim's life. Flying with decent rocket science skill and getting the landing stabilizer and computer upgrades will make this much less likely. To finish Computer Wiz, you need 3,000 simoleon in electronics and to spend 100 total hours on the PC. I discovered that writing doesn't count, so just play games, make apps, and hack your way there. A lot of it should be done by the time you're on that milestone. I did not buy a better PC for the 3,000 in electronics thing, but did get a better radio. I would later get a better PC from the eSports gaming branch of Tech Guru, one of the best PCs in the game, and you can keep it after you you quit. Level 5 in that career is also needed for the final milestone, but this is very easy with skills already covered. Two shifts tops. At this stage, I did buy some rewards due to 6,000 satisfaction going unused. I could have been more efficient to get a good one as soon as it was available. I went with independent and hardly hungry. Independent stacks with loner to where you only need 25% of the normal socialization a sim requires. Finishing nerd brain means maxing the logic skill and upgrading five more objects. I'm not sure that the rocket counts. I didn't get to test it. These are still easy to do at this stage and money is coming in regularly. We'll probably want to go on to the eSports Gamer branch of tech in order to get the PC, then switch to Renaissance Sim to get some easy satisfaction from a third aspiration. This is because a large chunk of those milestones will only require one thing of us tops. We need to get a few levels in different careers to do that, which requires quitting our job, but it's not such a big deal when you're already maxed and you can go for other rewards, then return to eSports to overlevel your career and establish a good retirement. When you have at last completed these tasks, you get two reward traits. Nerd Brain gives the handy reward. While I was unsure of the cooldown time on this interaction before this video, in the testing I just did, it is a flat 24 hours. However, it uses no parts and your sim also doesn't need to have handiness maxed. That means they can do high level upgrades without being high level in handiness. Since maxing handiness isn't a part of Nerd Brain, this is a very, very nice time and money saver. Some upgrades cost three to 500 simoleons each, particularly on electronics. The reward for Computer Wiz is the Webmaster trait. It unlocks three abilities for you. Stalk Sims online to learn all their traits really quickly. Do a research binge to get continuous XP and randomly chosen skills. The final ability is Turking. Turk on the computer to earn money. Every one of these interactions is found under the web menu with binge being under web then research. Turking on average seems to generate around 120 simoleons per hour as it's random. You'll get 75 and then 75 a few minutes later and another time wait about an hour to get one to go through. Despite this randomness, it is fairly easy money, probably better than some of the lower level hacking you can do. Research Binge is the one that really surprised me. While we initially wrote this reward tray off, it has its uses for sims that have many skills. Sometimes it appears to not work. I think that at those times it has chosen a skill where the minimum to gain XP is level 1, but you have not yet unlocked it and reached level 1. If you unlock as many skills as possible, you'll get the maximum benefit from this. The standard periodic experience you get for skills while using their practice and crafting abilities is what you'll get. It's not divided, rather three or four skills can get that full amount of XP at the same time. So you can get about quadruple skill experience when four that you have are chosen, but you cannot pick which will get the bonus. Try it out every now and then and give up for the day if nothing is happening. Use your skill XP bars to determine that. This is now one of the cooler rewards in my eyes even if its bonus is rather bland. 
It's a ton of XP, but uncontrollable and tailored towards Sims who do everything. If your Sim is an immortal, it'll be your best friend. We have a Patreon if you would like to support my project with a small contribution each month. The link's in the description or at the end of this video on a card. If you like my content, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when we release more. Thanks very much for watching and share your own strategies for finishing these aspirations in the comments.